when you have a leopard gecko it can be very difficult to even realize that there is anything wrong with it, especially if you're not used to working very closely with it. However, there are some subtle signs that you need to watch out for, especially during the first 24 months of its life. This is a time when geckos are at their most vulnerable, being young and not quite fully developed. The biggest indicator of a problem is when your gecko stops eating. If you find that it isn't touching its insects, you will need to act promptly. Don't worry if it doesn't eat for one or two days, geckos aren't supposed to eat every single day. Start to worry if they refuse to eat for a full week. Left too long, you will eventually notice that its tail seems to shrink in, it starts dropping weight and appears to be very skinny. A sick gecko is also a lethargic gecko. If your animal was once feisty and moved a great deal about its cage, or if it moved a lot when you tried to pick it up, but it has now become very still and flops over in your hand, then something is not at all right. What do you do when your gecko becomes ill? You could take it to a veterinarian who specializes in reptiles, but these are very difficult to find and may not be available in your area. Before you even purchase your gecko, you should check for one. If you are fortunate enough to have such a vet in your area, be sure to call them up and ask if they are willing to accept new patients. Most of the problems that affect geckos are brought about by malnutrition, impaction, stress or parasites. Prevention is the best cure, but if your gecko does happen to become infected with parasites, he can still be treated, although it will cost you a trip to the veterinarian. Otherwise, check the enclosure to make sure the temperature is set right, make sure it's not being stressed by other animals, and make sure that it's not eating loose substrate. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope you can save your leopard gecko.